John 20 verse 7 clues a God-given study. We have heard about the folded napkin. Let's go deeper in the wrapping of his head. He is crowned by God, thorns to glory. The blood tells the story. Let's recap. John 20 verse 7. And the napkin that was about his head, Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but wrapped, folded together in a place by itself. A napkin at dinner crumbled or wrinkled up, thrown on a plate means I'm done. Take it away, I am finished. But a folded napkin wrapped aside from the linen means I'm not done. I'm not finished means I'm coming back. Jesus is not done, he is coming back. Don't lose your napkin. Don't lose yourself. Wrap yourself in his word. Wrap yourself, set yourself by yourself in Jesus. The napkin about his head, the helmet of our salvation. Ephesians 6 verse 7. Wrap, fold it together, set aside, get it? We will all be together in one accord. One word, one song, one God, one son, one Holy Spirit, one you forever. We are set aside from the world. We are set apart from the world. We are in the world, but not of the world. Colossians 3, verse 12 and 17. John 17, verse 13 and 16. Thorns protect the, Thorns protect the rose, the flower. They try to destroy his mind, the helmet, our salvation. Broken vessel, veins erupted to shut him up. No thorn, no nail, no cross, no wrapping, no linen, no stone can't stop God. Silence has a voice. Blood has tears. God can't be shut down. Basically, in the simplest form, there's no stopping us. Jesus knows how it feels to be forsaken by everyone. If God was to save him, there would be no us. God cried. That's why there was darkness and thunder. Matthew 27, verse 45 to 52. It hurt God. God cries. It hurts him when we don't love him, when we don't look for him, when we don't need him, when we denied his son, when we deny ourselves to him every day in Jesus' name.